This Rolls-Royce engine's got an incredible backstory because in 1945, one of these engines, or two of these engines actually, powered a Gloucester Meteor aircraft to be the fastest air-breathing aircraft in the world at 606 miles per hour. The engine was based on the Rover W2B26, um, but Rover uh, started producing uh, Meteor engines for tanks and the production of the jet engines moved to Rolls-Royce in Derby, who did some incredible work with Frank Whittle. The hookup with Whittle and Rolls-Royce was a match made in heaven, really, because it, he met with Dr. Stanley Hooker, who'd done in some incredible work to increase the power of the piston engine, the Rolls-Royce Merling engine, uh, through fluid dynamics on the superchargers. And those skill sets were ideally suited to the aero fluid dynamics of jet engines. It's incredible this engine was built at all, really, because Frank Whittle's genius idea was, of course, originally discounted by the Air Ministry. And it took him many years and lots of stress to get to the point where such a wonderful engine was up and running and reliable. Uh, but in that journey, Frank did suffer two nervous breakdowns. Um, you know, he, he was incredibly uh, hardworking and used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. In 1941, Frank Whittle put in a letter to Henry Tizard. The responsibility that rests on my shoulders is very heavy indeed. We are faced with two alternatives. Either we place a powerful weapon in the hands of the Royal Air Force, or if we fail to get our results in time, we may have falsely raised hopes and caused actions to be taken, which may deprive the Royal Air Force of hundreds of aeroplanes that it badly needs. While the journey from the W2700 engine, the first British production jet engine, to the Derwent that was now going to be the fastest air-breathing aircraft in the world, was a difficult one but one that was of course ultimately successful. A great quote at the time from one of the investment bankers that did back Sir Frank was this was genius not talent. What a nice quote.